Hello, darlings. So, sheltered in front of the Sierra Bonilla Mountains with a beautiful, splendid view of the Mediterranean Sea, I am today in Altea La Vella. This beautiful town is located on the Costa Blanca in the province of Alicante and within the municipality of Altea. Today, I have a modern and monochromatic home to show you. It is on a plot of 840 meters squared. The house itself is 194 meters squared. It offers three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and well, let's get the tour started, shall we? So, for those of you that do not know Altea de la Vela very well, this is a beautiful location, not too far away from Altea's old town, but in a place of its own, nestled in beautiful nature, splendid pine forests, and a beautiful mountain range with the Sierra Bonilla behind us. This is the street that you'd actually enter to come onto where the property is located, a very quiet and very peaceful community. And as you can see, you are surrounded by all of this lush vegetation and greenery. So this is the front door, and this would be the door that takes you off the street level into the home. So this is a home that is an independent villa. It is a single story home, and where I'm standing is the parking space that happily sits two vehicles. You have your electric gates that open and allow you comfortable entry. To the side of that, you also have a pedestrian path which leads to your front door. Right now, I'm going to take you around the gardens. It is on a plot of 840 meters squared and the gardens perimeter the entire home. It's again done with modern classic touches with the whitewashed aesthetic of the walls and that black color accent coming through all the while. It has been very beautifully decorated with local palm trees, flowers. We're just passing here the trees that are the fruit tree garden area. And you can see that there's this cover that is currently on the surface where the gardens are. This is a protection because they're just in the last stages of actually doing the garden. And they're going to be putting rocks on top. As you can also see, you've got your irrigation system there. So that's all automatic for you. So you're coming down a very beautiful stone staircase and it leads to your authentically grass lawned garden. This is a garden that has plenty of space for relaxation areas, for playing, for picnics and for family life. To my right you have a sheltered outdoor lounge area. And then, as you come into the greater expanse of your garden, you have a rectangular swimming pool that is seven by four meters. Overlooking that, you also have this interesting balcony terrace space with the natural stone facade at the front. And this is a place if you're wanting to enjoy the swimming pool. It's not entirely connected to it as it is the terraces that do facilitate the living rooms and the bedrooms. So it takes you all the way around this beautiful lawn and you have this amazing backdrop of nature all the while to enjoy whilst you are outdoors. You've got the Sierra Bonilla mountain right there. You've got this beautiful expanse of green lush pine forest and you get to take in some of the really just impressive architectural designs of some of the other houses in the area. Altea de la Vela is extremely peaceful and also quite beautiful. So here is your swimming pool and your shower that would there facilitate your guests that are swimming. You also have your sun lounging area here. And then we go back up the steps on the other side of the home. And you have on this side decorated with olive trees, a little barbecue area to my right. And this would be your outdoor dining terrace which is paved with beautiful stone that's like a darker grey accents. And it also has doors that lead to your kitchen and also to the living area of your home. Goes all the way round. And we come back to the front. 
as you can see pockets of shade and sunshine throughout hello come on in so as i enter the front door this is would be your entry port it is a spacious light and bright port that receives guests and you also have this storage cupboard here for your personal items. The house is 194 meters squared and it is all on one level. So right here, overlooking the porch, you have your open plan living room and your dining room. On this wall here, you will find that there is your security intercom system and also your air conditioning system. And upon entering the house, I have to say that it does feel really warm and cosy. You can see that it's a modern and monochromatic feel with the white and the black architectural design of the interior. And this is your open plan living rooms area and the dining area, which in total is 30 meters squared. The dining space is set to dine six people at the moment. And you have these very large windows that open out let lots of natural light in, as well as allow you access to your terrace. What I also notice about this house as I enter, and it's the case in all rooms, is the ceiling height being 3.3 metres. So, coming through this door, I'm now going to take you into the separate kitchen. And this kitchen has again got the black and white design. You have your electrical appliances just here. So you have your cooking range, your hob, which is, and your extractor, which is class steam. You also have a very large fridge to my left and your oven there as well. You have a door that leads out onto your garden terrace. And then coming through, it takes you really nicely back to the hall where you will find your bedroom quarters. So as I go along the hall, this is the guest bathroom powder room which would service those that are on the ground floor. And then as I go along a little bit more, I'm now going to take you to the second bathroom, which would be your bathroom that comes fully equipped with a shower as well. And then along the hall some more to my left, I'm going to take you to bedroom number one. And the bedroom is light and bright. It is 13 meters squared. It has that modern aesthetic, nice fixtures and high-end finishes. You also have your floor to ceiling doors that open out onto your terrace and your wardrobe. A little further along the hall and you are now in bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is currently set as a studio space, a workspace, and this gives you the flexibility of the bedrooms. This bedroom is 15 meters squared. It has bright light entering as it is a south facing home. And you also have lots of power points in here as well. Coming through, I'm now going to take you to the third bedroom, which would be the master or the primary. And it's got a separate hall of its own, interestingly. So to my left, you have the dressing room. And then to the right, you also then have the ensuite bathroom which is rather spacious and fully equipped. I love the warmth and the brightness of this bathroom and the slipper bath where it is positioned is a great spot if you're wanting to have good views of your garden. Coming now through into the actual bedroom along the hall, you will find that it is 16 meters squared, is light and bright, has doors that open out onto its own terrace overlooking the swimming pool and you also have plenty of space for storage and other pieces of furniture. From the main entrance, there is a personalized special place that the couple that have built this home have dedicated to them. And I really love this personalized touch. It is a sauna space and a relaxation zone. This area is 20 meters squared. As you can see here, it has its own very beautiful living space that you can use for having a tea whilst you've been in the sauna. And then right here in front of me, you have your gorgeous finished sauna. It has its wood burning heating system there as well. And I can imagine that being very therapeutic. 
And then as you come out, you also have to the left of it a rainfall shower for the convenience of those that are using the spa area. So additional information about the home. This is a beautiful home that provides you with comfort, luxury, and also if you like it, minimalism. You can tell that the owners have spent time and energy making this home have high-end finishes and also really take advantage of the natural landscape and also the gorgeous views in each room. So the house also does come, as I need to actually mention, with solar panels, a solar water heater, electric shutters, air conditioning, parking for two vehicles, is fully furnished and also has a utility room. Altea de la Vela is in a great location. You have access to beaches, great water sports, trekking, hiking, well, just generally anything, and also you have amazing amenities. Neighboring towns like Altea, Calpe, and Benidorm are not too far away. So, the property tax or EB is 700 euros per year, the community fee there is none, and the refuse collection is 150 euros per year. If you like the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. My name's Nikima, and I will see you next time. Hasta pronto.